Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. It's time to get into some newness. We're going to go over today some NARS and some new lipsticks by Estee Lauder, the new pure color. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Let's get into one of my absolute favorite foundations. It's in my top five. I would even go as far as to say it's in my top three three. That's how much I like this foundation. It's the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And I say new because it is relatively new. It's been out for a little bit, but I find there's not a lot of people who know about this. And I want to show you guys today why I like it so much. But let's get into some key points that I'm reading online about what this product states it actually does. It says it's a medium coverage, good for redness, natural finish, good for dark spots, helps with dullness and uneven texture, blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. And for those of you with sensitive skin, it states that it's meant for sensitive of skin as well for an all day wear. Let's try it on and you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's about two pumps and this is in the color Vienna. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I do not like to use this foundation with a brush. It just looks better to me personally with fingers and then tapped in with a makeup sponge to blend it out or with a makeup sponge directly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in directly with the sponge and load up the product into the sponge. And then on the other side, I'll use my fingers directly. It's important to know where to place your foundation first, because that's where you're going to get the most coverage. And I was taught the center of the face is where we have the most discoloration. And then you work outward towards the jawline. Now, why not start at the jawline? Jawline is usually where most of us don't need a lot of coverage. And because we have a different color in our neck, we don't want to create that mask-like effect. So if you start right here, you're automatically gonna put most of the product down here and you're gonna get a hard line and you're gonna really be able to see the color difference. So by starting off in the middle, blending everything out to help with discoloration, obviously the foundation, have it as close to your skin tone as possible. You want it to match. And then working outward, it just creates a nice natural transition without that mask-like effect. All right, two more pumps. And you can do a pump when it comes to a more natural finish. I just got a little excited. You can see this product just keeps on stretching. That's one thing I'll say about this is my bottle lasted a full year. Another thing I want to note is that the foundation works lovely around the eyes as well. Look at this. Do you guys see what I'm talking about here? And in a minute or two, it will start to dry down and you'll still keep this dewy light reflected look without the sticky, heavy feeling I'm telling you guys, this foundation is fantastic. This is a medium to full coverage. It says it's a true medium, but you can definitely build up to full and you can share it out. But I went in pretty thick because I wanted to show you guys how you can do something a little lighter or you can have something that really does cover beautifully. I'm going to go ahead now and bring it in. So for those of you that like a natural all day wear, or for those of you who are makeup artists looking to do a beautiful editorial, true skin like look for photographs, film, etc., this, this is it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the NARS Orgasm Eyeshadow Palette. lovely colors. I feel like a lot of us have these colors already and NARS has come out with similar colors. In fact, this reminds me of a palette called Summer Solstice that they came out with maybe a year or two ago. So if you still have that palette, you're good. But for those of you that don't have these beautiful, warm, yet bright, peachy gold brown colors, you'll love this. And these are universally flattering colors. So it's great palette. Just want to note, 
Some of you might already have one like it, but let's go ahead though and play with these nine colors today. And I'm gonna use every single one because you guys know I like a good challenge. So let's get into it. I wanna give you guys a bit of a roadmap on how I see this palette and how I'm gonna use it today. So these four here are the shimmery ones. Well, kind of shimmer, glitter, and sheen. These are the mattes. These to me are the pop colors or highlighters. So I'm going to use this one as a blush. This will be my highlighters for cheeks as well as eyes. These mattes will be what I use to carve some shape, ground the colors, and these will be the colors that I use to transition from dark, medium to light. All right, now let's get started. Starting with the matte orange brown color, we're going to place that on an angle at the outer edge of the eye, working outward. The point here is to create a soft, smoky look. With the next color, which is a tan color, we're going to layer that right on top, working at an angle once again. Everything's moving up at a diagonal towards the temple. Grabbing this orangey rose sheen formula, we're going to place it on the lower lid in the center and then all over. Next, grabbing that bright pink metallic, we're putting that all over the lower lid. This will help to brighten the center. Onto the champagne color, we're putting that on the inner corner and then wrapping it a little towards the center of the lid and a little on the brow bone as well. Onto this beautiful chocolate gold shimmer, we're placing that on the lower lash line, mostly on the outer corner, and then wrapping around that lower lash line, putting a little bit on the top as well, mostly on the outer corner. Adding the rose chocolate color, we're going to place it on the inner corner of the eye and meet it towards the middle. Grabbing again that chocolate color, we're gonna use this as our light cat eyeliner, but with no hard lines, we're really blending that out. Using again that soft mauve taupe, we're going to soften this look by wrapping it around. We want to create a smoky look here. Grabbing that same color once again, we're going to put that on the bridge side of the nose to elongate the eye shape. This is one of my favorite looks for enlarging eyes. Grabbing now that pretty pink color that looks like orgasm blush, we're putting it on the cheeks. And we're going to put a little bit across the eyes, down the nose, and onto the jawline. Mixing the two champagne colors, I'm just lightly placing it on the cheekbone, the nose, and the ear. A little across the brow as well. This is what I call the triangle of light. When I move my head, you're getting the high points of the face. Now let's go ahead and do the other eye. Starting off with our finger, we're going to take the two chocolate colors, place it on the lower lid, and then take our blending brush and bring it up onto the brow ridge. Now wait, we're going to soften this lid and add some shape, just like we did on the other eye. You want to blend and extend. Going ahead and taking those champagne highlighter colors, adding it to the brow bone, adding that light pretty pink to the center of the lid. This is a softer version of the first eye look that we did. Grabbing now that sheen peach color, we're placing that underneath the lash line and then adding that pink shimmer color to the center and extending it on each side. Taking the champagne highlighter colors, we're putting that on the inner corner and right in the center to create a flick of light. Grabbing the two matte colors, we're mixing them and making them our bronzer slash contour color. Mixing the two highlighter colors, we're going to put that on our cheekbone. But ooh, what if it's too bright? You're just going to take that taupey mauve and go right on top. Adding that peach orgasm color to the apple of the cheek. And then going back in with that beautiful chocolatey bronze color and putting it on the outer corner of the eye. Using my NARS Climax Mascara, I'm going to use this as a top coat to create some nice feathery lashes. What a beautiful palette. For those of you with blue eyes, ooh, this palette is going to make your eyes really pop. For those of you with hazel eyes and green eyes, this will also really make your eyes pop. For those of you with brown eyes, it will also look lovely. It'll bring out those amber tones. And for those of you with truly dark eyes, like blackish brown or even almost black, it will brighten your eyes. Now let's get into some quick points here about this palette. I know I did a voiceover kind of telling you guys what I was doing, but a couple key points here is that when it comes to this palette, I would really use it as a face palette. It's really lovely all over and the last palette that I did that I used as a face palette that has I think like I don't know 12 to 15 shadows or something um was the Dior Mitza palette and that is a beautiful palette as well the Mitza leans towards the pink sides where this leans towards the coppery orange 
side. The only color that has that kind of reddish pink is this one in the center. So if you took this color out, this palette overall is a beautiful day-to-day -day palette. On that note, even though I have a lot of colors like this, I'm glad I got this palette because this is one of those types of palettes that it's just beautiful on everyone. Now let's get into the last three products today, and that's the newly formulated Estee Lauder Pure Color Lipsticks. Estee Lauder is coming in hot. It's like someone went out and said, what's Lisa Eldridge doing in Dior and all these highly pigmented lipsticks that we're seeing and can we do it better? These are so pigmented, feel great, but being transparent with you all, there is a slight scent that I am not loving. It's not terrible, but it has a tiny bit of that crayon scent but the colors are so richly pigmented and look so good on and feel good that I don't care. I'm gonna buy a couple more. So let's read a few key points on why these lipsticks are so great. So looking online here, it says that they are a long wearing lipstick with striking plumping color and velvety matte finishes. It goes on to state that the high performance lipstick stays color true for 10 impactful hours while resisting bleeding, feathering, and creasing with a more defined and sculpted appearance over time. Now let's get into some of the design because I am a sucker for good packaging. It has magnetic clasp, but what I'm really loving about this lipstick is its art deco line work. You guys know I love a good art deco feel and look to things. And this is very beautifully detailed. I love the bullet shape. It really does work for those of us that have smaller lips that you can really get to each curve around the edge of the mouth. So overall, beautiful packaging, really great bullet design and works great for us smaller lip girls. There's really not much more that I could say about these other than they are really beautiful. I look forward to wearing them for a while, seeing how they last throughout the day, seeing how they feel after I take them off because sometimes I find with matte lipsticks, they're beautiful, but then they dry my lips out. So I'm gonna check in on that. Feel free to reach out to me if you guys have any questions, of course. And I'm also interested in maybe trying a couple of the lip liners to go with it. I'm also interested to see if they feather at all around the edges of my mouth because I do have a lot of fine lines on my upper lip area. Overall though, really impressed. Great job, Estee Lauder. I am sucked back in. I'm a little curious now to maybe try a couple things that I haven't tried in a while. So if that was their mission, mission accomplished. I hope you guys enjoyed the newness. Of course, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, feel free to reach down to me in the comment box down below. And as always, thank you for going on this voyage with me. Please subscribe and don't forget to use the affiliate links down below. I'll have everything I use today, plus a list of stores that you could shop for anything you want or need. You use the links, 
I get commission helps me to continue to do this channel with you all. And if you haven't had enough, you can head over to TikTok or Instagram where you can see a little more behind the scenes of not just new makeup that's coming out, but also my life as a professional makeup artist of 25 years. Lastly, if you guys would like to book with a professional makeup artist for 25 years, you can head to shrevoyage.com. I'll have that in the description box down below. All right, everyone, as always, continue to take care of yourselves, each other, continue to be kind to one another, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Oh.